This morning I'm with my friend Alex who invited me to come out to his property. We got to the property about 15 minutes before daylight and listened and he's been hearing birds gobble on the limb right at daylight and walked along the outer property borders and listened and called a little bit and owl hooted and see, tried to use some locator calls and we decided to set up in a low, low spot in the creek bottom where we could still hear good and um, we'd just be still for a little while and listen. Very little soft calling, but listening mostly. Uh, we set up and I called just a little bit. Around nine o'clock, a bird answered close. He uh, fired right back off to a hard cut. I cut again real hard and he answered, sounded closer. We set up, figured he was gonna come right in, right down an old logging road straight to us. but he circumvented around to our south side and about 100 yards in a hardwood bottom. And I cut a little bit, called to him, he would respond, but it uh, sounded like he was moving away. Didn't sound like he was coming to us. So at that point, I decided to slip back about 60, 70 yards behind where Alex was set up and call to try to drag the turkey across the road where he was set up. So we got a turkey gobbling about 100 yards in front of Alex right now. I dropped back. I'm trying to call him out in front of Alex. I called and cut and he would respond but it didn't sound like he was moving at all. It sounded like he was kind of hung up in that hardwood bottom.
So after about 30 minutes, I eased back over to where Alex was and we were trying to make a plan to what we were gonna do and we, we sat and we were still and um, I called a little bit, used a slate, called real soft and I heard scratching real close. And then within 10 minutes I heard putting behind me and I flipped my head around and the turkey had circumvented all the way around us and had circled down to where I was calling back behind us and got within probably 20, 30 yards from our location on our complete north side. And spooked and ran off not a crazy bad spook but he still gobbled again as he was running off kind of weird but we kind of blew that set up and by this time it's 10 30 10 45 and we had to go he just snuck up on us right here you saw that right what yeah he was standing right here you didn't see him yeah I'm pretty sure that was him, but I, I mean, I think he busted us. But I think he just got on the other side of the hill. So that putt, was, that wasn't a hand? I don't think so, buddy. You live and you learn, you know? I mean, that was, we were set up in a low spot, which was bad, in the bottom of a bowl where he could get on the high sides and see a lot better than we could see and hear a lot better than we could hear. And he knew he could just circle around that bowl and he could see the hen that he was hearing call to him. And that's all he had to do. And we were set up in a bad position. His first gobble, we thought he would come right down a road and he didn't, he circled around and came all the way around the top side and then got us from the back. He won that one, that's an old turkey, I would assume, a smart turkey who's been in the game a while. Sometimes when you're in the woods like that, it's almost um, it's almost satisfying to for a bird to win sometimes to challenge you to make you think you know what could you have done better what can you do better next time and to know he's still in there um, so that was a fun it was almost more fun sometimes than dragging him out I, I won't I won't go that far it, but it's fun it was a lot of fun it was a good hunt and I really appreciate Alex inviting me to his property and. Uh, Hopefully we'll get back in there before the season ends and, and outsmart that bird.